Where are we going? Cape Cod. Hey guys, we are on our way to Cape Cod. We left this morning okay. about three hours ago. We're in Connecticut right now, about a third of the way there. So we're gonna just have a little snack and a bathroom break. So I will catch you when we are in Cape Cod. Dunkin' Donuts. We're about like 50 minutes outside of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. So we're gonna do the final stretch right now. Here we are. Oh, I'm going in this driveway. Oh. You trust that one? Yes, I'm positive. Let's stop with this. No, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, that one. Oh my God. <laughs> We're here. Okay. Yeah, it does. All right, we made it to our adorable VRBO. That's where we found this house. We're renting an entire ooh, person's house in this adorable Cape Cod style, of course. Um, so we're just unpacking the car right now. It is pretty messy in here. Well, not messy, but just full. So we're taking everything out and sort of just settling in to the house right now. We got here a little bit early. We we're supposed to check in at four and we got here at 3.30. So we're gonna just kind of settle in, unpack, put things away, and yeah, just get a little comfy after a long ride. So Dan is outside with the girls playing in the backyard and I have Luke here eating a cucumber. So I'm gonna kind of walk you around and show you a little tour of the house that we're staying in. This is the room that the girls are staying in, the cute little wicker beds. We did have to bring bedding from home, so um, which is fine. It actually will probably help them feel a little bit more at ease sleeping in a new place. So that's gonna be Lara's and over here is Evie. She's got all her little things that she brought from home, her little basket and bag, and she started to kind of settle in. And this overlooks the backyard, which has the outdoor shower. This room is super cute. I love the hats on the wall. This little dresser is adorable. So I just unpacked the girls. I put their clothes in this little dresser and their books in here too that they brought from home. And then the closet, hung up all their dresses. We brought three dresses for each of them, a little sweater, and then their bathing suits and little bathing suit uh, cover-ups. All hung up neatly. What do you think? I like it. You love it? <laughs> And next to the girls' room is the cute little bathroom, which is great size, has a tub, everything you could possibly need in a rental bathroom. So this is Luke's room. We just have him set up in here with the pack and play, and I stick the pack and play cover underneath it. His little swaddler is here, and then I unpacked his clothes into this drawer, and then we have like swimming things, hats, how cute is this bathing suit? I got those at the thrift store. So he is all settled in. And then next to Luke's room is where Dan and I are staying, the master. So again, we had to bring our own sheets, which is fine. So I just made up the beds, folded down the quilt, and kind of just laid some things out. These are the girls' hats that we brought, my um, itinerary planning that I did. And here I have Dan's things, and then mine in the middle here. That sweater, I think, is really gonna come in handy this trip. And then I have my beach bag, my vacation bag over here, which I thought was hilariously ironic. My Sperry's, and then everything else that needed to be hung is in the closet, and all of our extra bags on the bottom. Yes, perfect. It has like this, you know, catwalk that kind of overlooks the living room. So they have Master there. This is Luke's room. And then the girls' room to the right bathroom and then sort of a guest closet here and there's a little note that says please use anything you may have forgotten to bring which is really really nice some first aid things and then we did have to bring our own towels so these are ours that I put in there and that bag has our beach towels and they made us this little welcome basket with some Cape Cod chips of course and some other Trader Joe's goodies and sort of like a local um, you know things to go and visit and then the kitchen is very cute, painted this cute blue color. Of course, I had to bring my Arochino, and they said they had a single serve coffee machine, so we brought our own K-cups from home. And we still have, you know, water bottles and stuff out. 
And then off of the kitchen, you can actually go down here to this little finished basement, which we thought was perfect for the girls. I definitely plan to be doing some laundry while we're here, but we thought this was such a great space. There's another eating area, another TV, and then you can actually get out to the deck back here. So there's this deck, that little table, hello. So here's that outdoor shower, and they said this was newly built little shelf there so this will be really nice after the beach get all you know rinsed off and of course that classic gray shingle siding on the house very very Cape Cod and this is the front door this is where we're staying in Skyboat. so cute so it's only just 4.30 now, we're kind of, the rooms are unpacked, but we still haven't really like set up the kitchen. I think we just put the cold things away and a few like pantry staples that we brought, we kind of put away. But we might go for a walk, kind of explore the downtown Main Street area uh, of this cute town. We're staying in Chatham, Massachusetts, which is part of Cape Cod. Cape Cod is like a hook that comes off of Massachusetts, so we're kind of right in the middle and I think it's gonna be an awesome week. So one of the things we did to make our lives easier, instead of having to all go out and grow, go grocery shopping, I actually did a Peapod delivery from Stop and Shop, which is not a store that I really ever shop at. Um, and because it was my first time ordering, I actually got $20 off and free delivery. So we're just having it delivered here to our vacation house. And I think they just pulled up. They were supposed to come between five and seven. It was a pretty broad window, um, but it's like 5.20 and they're here already. So we're gonna get all those groceries put away. And yes, I did meal plan for this vacation, at least for breakfast and then either a lunch or a dinner so that we can eat out just maybe once a day. And if we want to eat out more than that, that's fine. Or like go get ice cream or whatever. But we plan to eat at least breakfast and lunch um, or dinner here most days. All right, groceries are here. I'm not gonna do like a full tour, but some things of note. We got some pre-made burgers. These are brisket, Dan. Chuck brisket. Uh, we got also, I think, hot dogs for the girls. Popcorn, lots of fruit, veggies, salad things. Watermelon. I got this for when we go whale watching. Hopefully we won't need it, but it'll, we'll have it on hand. Some sandwich bags for bringing snacks and lunches out. Some juice boxes that the girls don't usually get. Mac and cheese, bars, bananas, eggs, all good stuff. Milk, syrup. So we're gonna go ahead and put all this away. And in case you're curious, this is my meal plan for the week. Um, th Monday's today, so tomorrow we're gonna do pancakes and eggs, then I just got things for ham and cheese, waffles, BLTs, burgers and hot dogs. We're gonna make a fresh salsa one night and grill some pineapple, there's a grill here. Um, and then Friday we may eat breakfast out or lunch, have like whatever's left over. So just a really loose, easy meal plan that we can kind of just pick what we wanna eat each day. So we're going for a walk down the main street. Oh my word, look at this gorgeous, wow. gorgeous. inn. Oh my gosh, I don't know if my heart can handle this place. <laughs> Evie's leading the way. We got Luke. Back there we got Daddy and Lara. And we're a little too early. We're just missing. All these hydrangea bushes are everywhere and they're just about to bloom. All of these bushes are hydrangeas and we're just a little too early. So this is the pond that we walked to. It's not the ocean, it's just a really large pond, but there's boats in it. It's a lake? Yeah, it's basically like a lake. Tuesday and we're just getting ready for the day. I wanted to share this sunscreen with you. My sister recommended this to me. She's used it before. It's this La Roche-Posay. It's a really, really lightweight 
um, moisturizer or sunscreen, I should say, for your face specifically. It is 60 SPF and it's really matte, so it's not really slimy or greasy, which is really nice when it's going on your face, of course. Um, but it wasn't inexpensive, I'll tell you that. I think this was like 25 bucks. I got it on Amazon, but it has been really, really nice so far, and I definitely don't want to get sunburned. We're gonna make pancakes this morning and I brought all the dry ingredients from home. I just need to add the eggs, butter, and milk and we will have breakfast. We are doing some lighthouse exploring today. Lara and Luke are sleeping in the car with Dan, but I'm taking Evie. We just went to the Nauset light, and now we are at the Three Sisters lighthouses that actually were taken down and removed and put in this new location due to erosion. So that's what we're exploring today. So there's one lighthouse there, one here, and then one back there. All right, everybody is up. We are now going to the Cape Cod Museum of Natural History. So there's like a butterfly exhibit and some other like whaling things. So this should be fun. It is bone. Oh, it doesn't even look like a bone. Doesn't even look like a bone, but it is. Pretty cool. Lara, what's in there? Dunkin' Donuts, which is right there, so we're gonna go in. So at the thrift store, I got this little plaid shirt for Luke. It was only one dollar, so probably four the fall or I don't know winter Eve you got this little tool belt that you can strap around your waist pretty cute Dan did get that little like jacket thing um, but we are at CVS right now because we need to get C bands because we're gonna be going whale watching tomorrow so I did get Dramamine and like the ones you take like with water and then the ones that are chewable also and then we're gonna get the c-bands we're just gonna load up on all the options so that if anyone has motion sickness tomorrow we'll be able to deal with it i'm hoping it's gonna be a big enough boat that we should be fine but just better to be prepared all right tuesday night we're heading out to dinner we're going to a place called the mad minnow which apparently has good seafood Peter tots and we have some clam yeah, chowder. I got the crab cake and shrimp po' boy with an orzo Wait, side salad. Dan got a lobster roll, looks amazing. And this is a house-made pickle. All right, we just finished at Mad Minnow. It was so delicious, highly recommend. It's in Harwich, Massachusetts. <laughs> 